Good morning and welcome back. The time now is 5.52 and we are live outside of our studios because it is now time for a Community Minute. And joining us is a very special guest. This is Hank Cole. He's an amateur radio operator and our very own KITV4 engineer. Aloha, Hank, and thanks for joining us. Aloha, Mahalani. Thanks for having me again. <laughs> so you've got 60 seconds to talk about your event. Are you up for the challenge? I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm no, scared. you're not. You're an old pro. <laughs> All right, on your mark, get set, go. Shortwave radio demonstrations, satellite communications, and disaster preparedness activities are on tap for the whole family as the combined efforts of the Kotwalao Amateur Radio Club and the Emergency Amateur Radio Club put on the emergency operations exercise known as Field Day starting tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. at Kualoa Beach Park out by Chinaman's Hat. Disaster preparedness agencies joining us will be the National Weather Service's Skywarn, the American Red Cross, and Oahu Civil Defense. Field Day is a nationwide event that tests amateur radio operators' abilities to set up and operate portable radio stations under emergency conditions. This is especially important in Hawaii, where tsunamis, hurricanes, and other natural disasters are a very real threat. When all else fails, amateur radio works. Field Day is a free public event, which runs from 8 a.m. Saturday with live demonstrations throughout the day at Kualoa Beach Park. All right, perfect, Hank. You did a wonderful job, and I know it's great seeing you every year, so good luck with your event. Thanks. And do you mind if I borrow your radio? Because i gotta, I got to call somebody right now. Sure. Hello? Yasmeen? Can you hear me? I can hear you, All Mahal. Right. It's time now for traffic and weather on the fours, and the roads are a little wet out there, I can see. It is a little wet. Hey, I have to say, Hank is an amazing engineer. He fixes everything that I break. All right, we're going to take you out on our city and county traffic cameras. Looking pretty decent coming out from Fort Weaver Road and then onto the H1 freeway. We still have those green uh, downgrading to yellow out through the IA corridor. Out on our city and county traffic cameras through